Okay, so we've done the underpainting. This is about the sky then, this one. Um, and I've just done just a little bit of uh, lightness over the, over the clouds there. Uh, and I'm not going to merge them like I would normally. What I am going to do is I am going to um, use different blues to, to the effect um, that I want. So I'm going to let the pastels sort of do the talking. Uh, and we're going to try and make a, a, a realistic fractured sky, I think. It is fairly broken up. Just want those rays coming down. Well, we'll address those in a little while. But I just want um, I just want to sort this sky out with regards to clouds and bottoms and colours, just to give me the feel of a summer sky. Using a, a, a light tone blue, it's not the lightest, but it's a lighter tone of blue because it is a light sky. So remember your thumbnail, uh, there's nothing in it, so you know that it's a light colour light tones all right now i'm going to use a this is another not so pretty blue it's a dull dullish blue and i feel that this is yes that's the right color uh, you just keep going until you get the color that you that you want i'm going to go directional lines with those with that sky because there is um I don't know, it's rain or, or something coming down. If you've ever studied rain coming out of a cloud in the distance, you can see clouds, lines, sorry, coming down. Okay. All right, it's this sky. It's coming. We have got some pretty blue up there. I'm just going to put some... Um, I don't want that one, that's purple. Right, so I'm just going to put some um, lighter uh, blue on this corner here and it'll help to break up that whiteness that we've done. So I'm going to cut back into the, into the white to give me the edges. And carry on with some shadows. Okay, let's go in the middle. Right, so these lines then, just drag your finger down. How easy was that? How easy was that? Nothing hard about doing rain in the distance. Um, what I do want is a tad darker. So we've gone um, a, a light. Remember, um, when you're doing a body of something, be a tree or a chair or a sky it is something so it has to have three or more tones to give it form so i'm now putting the shadows underneath where there's moisture obviously otherwise these wouldn't be falling as they are just going to tease them down a little bit and just add some shadows around these clouds and on this side Again, remember, it's not verbatim. These are just studies and they uh, represent. You're not doing a realistic painting, you're doing an impression. Uh, so you need to, you know, grasp the feeling of the painting by all means. But don't worry if it's not doing or it's not looking exactly the same with the clouds in the right space and um, they're all the right size. That doesn't matter so much. Right, now then. Let's get these directional lines in. Same again. Straight down like this. I don't want them too definite, but I do want that rain falling in the distance. Okay, now we have got some light uh, areas. So I'm going to use a very light blue just to pick out these clouds that are bubbling. Um halfway up just touch them so they're not so bright and use your picture again as reference so we're, we're now getting down to the uh, to the details of the sky it's coming through that rain 
just want these bits under here, some lighter bits at the top. Right, we've got a decent sky there. I do want a pale, very pale, um, yellowy colour, which I can see is here. And I'm just going to put it in as a mass following that rain line because it's actually behind. Just watch what's on your finger before you start blending it. And let's put that in. I will go over that in a minute because that actually um, is going on top of that, some of that rain. Right, okay, just lighten that a tad, that's better. Right, so we now have, um, we now have rain coming out. Right, just let's uh, reinforce those hills in the background. To my tad lighter than that, in the distance they are a lot lighter. So, as with any medium, uh, you mix the colours, but like unlike most mediums, you actually mix colours on the, the surface with pastels. You know, if you think about watercolours or oils, acrylics, you mix them in a palette. Well, you can't do that with pastels because they're dry. So, we do it on the page. Okay. Right, I'm going to leave a line there, that's fine. Okay, now we've got the, the, the clouds in and we've got the, the, distant, um, the distant hills. I wonder how long this video is going to last. Uh, I, I'm just going to put a few darker areas um, following my thumbnail. There's a few darker areas just in that middle distance 